Hello everybody, this is the first video that we're actually doing with some FaceTime on it, if you want to call that. Um, in these structures you really can't see anywhere on any models or anything like that, so you have to refer to your book to get a little more depth in those. But the first one in your lab manual is called the phrenic nerve, and that's innervated by C3, 4, and 5. And if you want to remember it, C3, 4, 5, keep your diaphragm alive, kind of rhymes and it's an easy way to remember it. So they're going to go straight down to your diaphragm. The next set of nerves you have to know, or nerve, is called the pudendal nerve. And if you want to remember S2, 3, 4, keep your pudendal off the floor. Um, another rhyme, so it's a nice easy way to remember it. So just remember S2, 3, 4, keep your pudendal off the floor. And then finally, um, the cervical nerves in your lab manual. One thing to note about your cervical nerves is that there are eight of them, one on the top and on the bottom of each vertebrae, of your cervical vertebrae. So even though there are only seven cervical vertebrae, there are actually eight cervical nerves. All right, we're gonna be going over uh, the, the nerves on the arm here. Uh, starting at the top, we're gonna have your brachial plexus. It's gonna be where those nerves haven't uh, diverged off from each other yet. Okay, next. This first nerve, diving off, this is going to be your axillary nerve. This first one diving off. And here, axillary, think armpit. Okay? So, if we turn the model around here, you can see on the back side, this here too, this will also be your axillary nerve. All this yellow up in there. Okay? So, if we flip around to this side, I'm going to go by the order of your lab manual. So this next nerve here, it's going to be your radial nerve. It's going to be the third one that you can see diving off on this model. Radial nerve. Okay, so then, radial nerve dives deep and comes to the back side. And so I took off the head of the triceps. So here you can see the radial nerve. And we're going to be able to follow that radial nerve coming down. And then, here we can also see the radial nerve. Right here, it's going to split into a superficial and a deep head. You guys don't need to know those. Just know that this is radial going all the way down. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go back to the top here. Next term you guys got is the median nerve. And that is going to be most clearly seen right here. Okay. But if you follow it back up, this is all going to be median here on this side, separated by these red segments. So this is going to be median here. Okay. And then you can follow that median all the way down. Here's median as well sitting right underneath where that flexor digitorum piece would be. Okay. All right, if we go back to the top, the next term you're going to have is going to be your ulnar nerve. We all see that one right here. Follow it up. You can see it staying on this side of that red segment. Okay. And if we go down, See right there on the ulnar side. See that radial nerve going all the way down there. Okay, and then back to the top. Final uh, nerve on your list is going to be the musculocutaneous. You can see that right there. It's going to be that second nerve diving off. So your second one is the musculocutaneous. So this one's a little tricky. You can't. That's you can see it right there. And then here's going to be your biceps brachii muscle, and just peeking out right there. You can see that musculocutaneous nerve.
Now we'll take a look at the nerves of the leg. Your first term is the obturator nerve. And that's going to be found right here. If I rotate this model here, we can see this nerve sitting on top of the femur. This would be called your femoral nerve. If I flip around to the back and I take a few pieces off, we can see our sciatic nerve. Distal to this, we can see the separation here for the tibial nerve on the medial side. And then for the common fibular nerve on the lateral side. And now we'll rotate back up to the top. Here you can see the branches of S, 2, 3, and 4. This is not the pudendal nerve. It is S, 2, 3, and 4, and that will lead to the pudendal nerve. The pudendal nerve can be found on this model. Just to orientate you a little bit, this is a testicle, and the only yellow structure on this model will be found here, and that is the pudendal nerve.